Hello plant people, it's Nora the Lekker Queen. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be looking at my variegated Hoyas. I have, oh, I think 11 variegated Hoyas and I'm just gonna show you what they look like, show you what they've looked like in the past and uh, we'll take it from there. So first up is one of my absolute favorites. I'll probably say one of my absolute favorites a lot in this video because they, are like my really, really like absolute favorites. So I have this Hoya. That is my Hoya Australis. She is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is what she looked like um, a few weeks ago, maybe a couple of months ago. She was teeny tiny when I got her. I put her in Leka and she is just loving life. This is what she looks like now, and she's getting bigger, it's just getting some height on her, but look at the color on these leaves. You've got the greens, you've got the reds, and look at how teeny tiny these new leaves are. They are just to die for. You've got some new leaves there as well. It's really doing well. I'm really happy with this plant. And at the moment it is living in Leka. This is its reservoir and that is a little bit of the root coming out of that reservoir. And uh, yeah, it's, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous plant. Loving life in Leka. That is my Hoya Lisa. I have here, I know you guys know what this is. This is one of the most beautiful plants on the planet. This is my Hoya Carii Albo. Look at the white, green, look at the heart-shaped leaves. That is just glorious, 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 glorious. This plant is living in Leka. That's its reservoir there. It's really, really happy. I got this one from Collector's Corner in Melbourne. And some of you guys will know, Collector's Corner is just the mecca for all Hoyas. You will find all manner of Hoyas in this place and they do not cost an arm and a leg. When I got this little Hoya, I think I got this one for, I think it was $30 and it was really small when I got it. That's what she looked like when I got her. She was really small. They did have bigger ones that were gonna cost me a lot more, but I thought, nah, you know what? I'm gonna move this plant from soil to Leka and it will have to acclimatize anyway. So if I get a big one, things might go pear-shaped, but you know, she's done really well in her Leka and she just looks absolutely fabulous. I just love the size of that leaf. Just look at that, it's huge. It's doing really, really well. And this one, this one right here is just like pure white pure white there's no green on there at all but I'll try and show you this one look at this one over here it's completely white and then it's just got this speck of green on it there it's such a glorious plant I love 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 this Hoya that is my Hoya Carii Albo Marginata so as you know I, I love I love variegated Hoyas I do and I don't have too many of them. And I would love, love some recommendations. Do you know of a variegated Hoya that you can recommend to me? I, would, I haven't bought a new Hoya in a very long time. And I would love to go shopping. I would love to go to Collector's Corner and just go and get me some new Hoyas. So please give me some recommendations and I will so be there. Comment below. My next one. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This is my Hoya Hirschkiliana variegata. Look at how lovely this plant is turning out to be. It's just this curtain of teeny tiny white, green, pinks, reds. It's just absolutely stunning. It is stunning. I got this plant from, I think I got it from Plants Direct actually. 
um, and it was again tiny, 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 was living in soil. I transferred her to Lekka and it was a direct transfer. I just got the soil off the plant and I whacked it in Lekka and she's doing wonderfully. And I've got a video where I show how I transitioned my Lekka, my, my Hoyas from soil to Lekka. Just click on the link above and that'll take you to it. But this plant is just, she's just, she is just doing well. Let me see. Look at that leaf. Look at those teeny tiny leaves. Look at the detail and the color of the colors on that. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait for this plant to get bigger. Can you imagine an absolute cascade, a waterfall of these tiny, tiny, gorgeous leaves? It's just, it's just beautiful. Let me see if I can show you this one. Oh. Look at that. Look at those tiny, tiny leaves. It's just, it's really, really gorgeous. That is my Hoya Heshkiliana variegata. Can you imagine? That would make for a lovely hairstyle, I think. <laughs> I kid. This is Hoya royalty. Hoya Royalty. This is Hoya Royalty. This is my Hoya Crimson Queen. I absolutely love this Crimson Queen. She has this thing going on with her. On this side, she is green and white variegated. And on this side, it's just pure white leaves. Pure white. I have no idea what's going on with her. But she seems to love it. And none of the leaves are dying. So... Something must be working, but look at this one. This one right here has got some green and white, couldn't quite make up its mind. And then the rest of these are just white. They are just absolutely glorious. Look at this one. This leaf right here, it's got, oops, this leaf right here, pink, coming through at the start and that will turn into white like that one. Just Hoyas are just so diverse and they do such fabulous things. This one is also living in Lekka and look at that. You know, it's been living in this pot for a while now. It's very nice and cozy and it's loving life. Um, liking life on its trellis and I, I really like what that looks like. That is my Hoya Crimson Queen. So this Hoya Crimson Queen, she was tiny when I got her. That's what she looked like when she was small, just a tiny, tiny plant. And now she's just, re within a matter of months, she's just really growing really big. Haven't got any flowers from her yet. I'm really hoping that, you know, maybe next year, something might start to happen, but that's how fast and that's how big they can start to grow. So I'm really liking how this plant is going from that small to this big. I've got my Hoya Crimson Princess. I'll show you my Hoya Crimson Princess. I've actually got two Hoya Crimson Princesses. So this is the Crimson Princess. Crimson Princess definitely needs a trellis. I need to get her a trellis because she is going wild. And look at those, I'm trying to get a close up of that leaf. Look at how glorious that looks. It's lovely, pinks, greens, whites, all the good things. So this one also has some aerial roots actually coming up. I'll try and see if I can show them to you. Take a look at that. Those are aerial roots. So a Hoya can get area roots and I'm actually looking to see whether I can actually put a Hoya app on a moss pole. 
Would you like to see me put a Hoya up on a moss pole? Let me know in the comments below. Or if you have put a Hoya up on a moss pole, I would love, love, love to see it. So let me know. But this is my Crimson um, Princess. I've had this Crimson Princess for a while. She was going okay. And then one portion of her started to revert. So instead of it looking nice and, you know, variegated, the leaves were just green. And it's starting to do the same thing here as well. So you can see these leaves here are just green. So that variegation uh, seems to be disappearing. I'm not too sure why that is happening. I don't know whether it's an issue of not enough light. Although that can't be the case because these Hoyas, my variegated Hoyas live in my grow tent and they have fabulous light from my grow light in my grow tent. So it can't be that. Uh, I don't understand what's going on. So if you take a look at this picture here, this is this Hoya back in the day when it was reverting. So I actually chopped off the branch that was reverting and I, you know, discarded that and this is what the plant has now become. So it's a great improvement from what it was when it was reverting, but I see this probably is starting to happen again. So I don't know. Um, so because this Hoya was reverting, I decided I needed to get some insurance. So I went and got myself another Hoya Crimson Princess from Collector's Corner. And I'll show that one to you. So this is my other Crimson Princess. She is looking stunning. Um, look at her. Look at how glorious she looks. Look at those leaves. Look at that leaf. That is just fabulous with the, yeah, with the pink and the greens, which then turn into white. It's really fantastic. But this plant is also growing a bit wild. Look at that vine. There's another crazy vine there. Probably needs to be up on a proper trellis. Like I need to trellis it up really well. But I wanted to show you something on this one. If you look at this vine, the leaves on this vine are green. They're all green and I'm telling you, this vine is reverting. It's just not variegated anymore. So um, I think what I'm now going to do with my Crimson Princess is I'm gonna chop off this vine right at the bottom. So that's gonna be somewhere there. I'm gonna chop this one off, get rid of that. Cause, oops, I think I broke a leaf. <laughs> anyway. I'm pretty sure it was on its way out. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this one here, discard that, and I'm gonna get my other Crimson Princess. I'm gonna chop off where it's reverting, and I'm gonna put these two in one pot, and I'm gonna put them up on a proper trellis. Who would like to see that on camera? I might make a video of that. I don't know, let me know. Do you think that would make for a good video? Um, I think it might, I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, let's go to the next Hoya. I really love this little cutie. She is such a cutie. This is my Hoya Susie Q. She's glorious. She's absolutely glorious. This is one of my newer acquisitions and oh, I'm just loving, loving her. Look at that. You've got the all white leaf there and then you've got the leaf with a little pink along the edges and then you've got the proper variegated ones and when I got this plant it looked like this so it was pretty small all this top bit did not exist so I've now grown this vine which is actually quite long it's quite windy uh, I'll try not damage any of the little leaves if there are look at how you know, it's quite long and it's got, you know, all the little leaves coming through. So that's, that's a new leaf right there. And you've got that teeny tiny one right at the top. So I'm really liking how the Suzy Q is going. And yeah, she is going to be one gorgeous beauty when she grows up. So that is my Hoya Suzy Q. Who is next? Look at that. 
That is just so tropical. It makes me feel like going on holiday. I wish I could. But uh, this is my Hoya tricolor. She's, you know, three colors. You know, you've got that pink, you've got the whites, and you've got the greens. She's just looking absolutely stunning. So if you look at this one over here, you've got just, those are just white there and you've got some white portions there as well and this is just one whole section of this just completely white leaves one whole section of this is just completely white leaves looks a little bit like my what my crimson queen is doing but she's going really she's going really really well that's her there she's living in her um leka and that's her reservoir and that's my tricolor doing absolutely brilliantly. This right here is my Hoya Obovata Variegata. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous specimen. She is just fabulous. Check out that leaf. Check out the variegation that's right in the middle. So Obovatas tend to have this, you know, thick, almost round like dinner plate shape leaves. And this one has got that variegation running through in the middle. It's absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning. When I had, I've had this plant for a while, it was quite, quite small and it's growing really well. This is another plant that has got some crazy aerial roots. Check out what's going on here. All these aerial roots are just going insane. This is another plant I've actually thought of putting up on a moss pole you know I might do but uh, probably not so she's living on a lovely DIY trellis that I made so I just got you know a piece of wire bent that and wrapped some twine around it so that looks I think it looks nice um yeah DIY trellis and this particular plant actually did give me some peduncles. That's, that's as close as I've ever gotten to getting a Hoya to flower, you know. My Hoyas, they, I don't think they love me that much. Well, maybe they're just still quite young. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, this was a pedicle here and that just sort of dried off. Look, to be fair, um, the plant was doing really, really well. This there's more. I think there's about three or four peduncles there. I think there's another one. Oh, hang on. Right there. Right there. There. And that just dried off. That one there dried off. And the plant was doing well. She's living in Lekha. And then I moved her for some reason because I needed to do something with her. And she didn't quite like that and the petals dried off and that was the end of that. So I know it's possible. Um, <laughs> I just need them to sustain and actually flower for me. So that is my Obovata Variegata. Gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful Hoya. This is my Hoya Verticulata Alba Marginata. So it's a uh, Verticulata Alba marginata. So, you know, it's an Alba version. Look at that. Look at those shiny, shiny leaves that just look absolutely stunning. And this plant is just vining like crazy. I, I really need to tame my Hoyas. I need to get some proper trellises and just tame them up because then they just go everywhere and they're just insane. So that's living in Lekha, that's its reservoir there and those are some of the roots that are coming through there. But that's my plant there and I can't wait for her to get bigger. She's going smashingly. Another one of my absolute favorites. Look at that. That is my Hoya Akuta Variegata. Look at those crazy vines. There's a crazy vine there, another one there, another one there, another one all the way over there. It is just gone crazy. This plant was tiny. When I had this plant, I think it was like two leaves. Look at her vein, two leaves, really, really small. 
Look at her now. And look at, I want to show you uh, this one. Look at the pigmentation on this Hoya. I've never seen that before. Have you seen that before? If you have, just let me know. Tell me what that is if you know. Because this, this, this doesn't look like sun stressing to me. No way. I don't think it would be very, you know, pointed like that. But look at the veins of this Hoya as well. They're quite distinct. Look at this other leaf. It's just Look at these three leaves. You wouldn't think they're from the same plant. This one is green. This one is predominantly white with green. This one has got these red dots. It's just a fabulous, fabulous plant. That is my Hoya Akuta Variegata. Was very, very small before and it just psh, took off. And now I need to tame her. So she's just absolutely fabulous living her life being gorgeous. Last but not least is my Hoya Latifolia album marginata. Look at that. Just, I am absolutely speechless. Look at, you know, what that is just, look at the almost sun stress look, you know. Look at the veins on that and then you've got that white strip on the side look at the other leaves this is just a fabulous plant she's just absolutely glorious she's a recent acquisition as well when i got her i think they were maybe two or three leaves she's doing really really well i'll show you this tiny leaf check out that tiny leaf how small and beautiful is that little leaf? She's, look at that. This, this plant is just stunning. Living in its reservoir. That's its roots there. Loving, loving, loving the lekker life. There's a tiny leaf here. Let me see if I can. Look at how tiny that leaf is. It's so small. It's so, so small. It's just, it's just, I'm just such an, I'm in awe of Hoyas. Hoyas are just beautiful. Look at all these Hoyas and how different they all are. They're just absolutely beautiful. So yeah, um, I would really love some opinions from you guys. If there's a Hoya that you think I don't have, that I absolutely must have, please let me know in the comments below. And if you've got any tips and tricks, how to keep Hoyas from reverting, I'm very interested to know that as well. So these are my little Hoyas. If you loved this video, please subscribe and it really helps my channel. The more people watch, the more people subscribe and you know, my content gets out to many other people. Well, that is it from me and my Hoyas. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Thanks, bye.